Hi everyone, today I'm going to cover how to enter manual invoices into Optimum Control. Invoices are important to enter to ensure the cost of your items are being updated and for the usage of the items to be tracked. The first step is to navigate to the Invoices window, which is in the Purchasing section of the main menu. From here, the calendar view for all of your invoices will be displayed. You can see which invoice has been entered on each day. To start entering a new invoice, we're going to click New in the top left corner of the window. This will bring up the invoice window. You'll first have to enter some of the invoice's general information, such as the supplier you're buying from, the date you're purchasing it, the invoice number, as well as the total. From here, we're going to start entering all the items that are being received. Once you choose your supplier, it's going to display all of the case sizes available for that supplier. From here, you can go down the list and add anything you want to the invoice. So we can either double click on an item, or we can search for it in this field by either the name or the order code. You can then scroll to it using the directional pads on your keyboard and then hit enter to add it. Once all of your items are entered, you can fill in the quantity purchased and update prices if there are any price changes. So let's say there was one case here, one case here, but this was updated to 35, 36 for a case. Now that the items are entered, we can move to the next tab, which is Expenses. In here, you'd enter any expenses that are on the invoice that aren't items. These can be things such as delivery charges, bottle deposits, or anything like that. To enter one in, we're going to click Add at the top of the screen, and it'll add in a line here. From here, we can select the account we want it to go towards, what it is, and then the, the cost of it. Once we do that, it's added to the total at the top. The next tab we're going to go into is the Taxes and Adjustments tab. This is where you can enter any taxes for the invoice. From here, you can click Add at the top, and it's going to list any tax and adjustments that you've created. These would be entered in the Settings, Setup, and Tax and Adjustment section. You can select whichever one you want to add, and it'll add it as a line. From here, we can put in the cost of it, and then once we do that, it'll be added to the top. After you have your items, expenses, and taxes entered, the total at the top right here should match the total that you entered at the beginning of the invoice. If it does, we can now save the invoice. We can do that by clicking Save at the top left. From here, it's going to show any price changes that are over your price change threshold. This can be set up in the settings, but by default it's set to 10%. So the almonds here, there's an 11% change. It's just letting us know that to ensure that this is a correct price change. Once we can confirm that, we can click Continue, and the invoice has been saved. That is how you enter a manual invoice in Optum Control. Thanks for watching.